Here's a quick video on single line engraving for Inventor HSM. First thing you need is the engraved text add-in. You want to unzip that, open it up, open the engraved text add-in folder, and then you want to copy all of these. So then you want to go to your hard drive, <coughs> go to users, Go to the your user, then app data, then roaming, Autodesk. For me, it's Inventor 2016, should be your current. And then you want to go to add ins. And then you're going to right click and paste paste those into here. So then you want to restart your inventor. And that'll bring up this under the sketch tab. That'll bring up the engraved text. This is going to convert your text into sketches that can be used for engraving. So now you start a new sketch from the surface you want to engrave on. Then go to your engraved text new icon. And we'll type in test. And then pick the surface you want to put that on. And then if it's in the wrong location, you can highlight it, move it around might also be interested in being able to scale it. So if you highlight it, you can go to scale, click the base point. So now you can you can scale it to fit it the way you want it. Okay. Finish that uh, sketch. And then the best way you're going to find to uh, to now make a toolpath for that is going to be uh, projection. So go to 3D, 3D milling, and projection. We're going to pick a chamfer mill for this. In the geometry tab, with this highlighted blue, we're going to go over to the model, pick the sketch so we don't have to pick all the segments. Go back to cam. Uh, you can adjust your heights the way you want them. Uh, if you want, uh, you need to set your depth and axial offset. We'll do a negative two thou for this. And then you're going to want to zero out all of your lead in and lead outs. Hit OK. So as you can see, get a pretty good result there. If you have a debossed feature, uh, you can engrave you can engrave that with trace, 2D contour, uh, projection should work as well. So let's simulate this and be done. So you can see the two different results you would get from a debossed feature. It'll trace the outside of, uh, outside of the feature versus the single line, single stroke font. I hope this was helpful.